Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Tanya and I like to talk about everything skincare and um, makeup, you name it. So today I want to do uh, a mask review. Um, the Body Shop have come out with a new mask, a sh new sheet mask, which I'm actually really quite excited. Um, actually, that's where I got these ears from. So, um, yeah, these are to help, um, what is it again? Uh, buy land for a koala, um, sanctuary? Mm -hmm. To give them back land. Um, I can't remember all of it, but anyway. Um, 50% of the proceeds or the, the sales goes to um, the Queensland Koala Crusaders, I believe it is. If I've actually got that wrong, I'll write it down um, in the description below. But anyway, I'm not sure how many of these are left. You can get these ones. These are the deer. You can get uh, bunny rabbits. You can get a whole bunch of them. Check it out. They're only $10 um, and it's for a good cause. But anyway, I'm wearing it because it'll keep my hair out of my face and because I kind of like it even if it does make me look stupid. So, whatever. Whatever. Today we're going to do the Drops of Youth sheet mask from the body shop. If you can see that, let's get a little bit closer. How about I just insert a picture? So, um, anyway, this is a youth concentrated sheet mask. I'm not going to be able to explain everything that's on here because some of it's in another language. But it does say that it has three plant stem cells. Um, and it has a whole bunch of good stuff in it. It says that it's instant, instant hydration after 15 minutes. Skin looks fresher, bouncier, healthier. It's also a biodegradable sheet. It has one sheet in it with 21 mils of um, fluid, obviously, for the sheet. Um, it's 100% vegan, 99% of the ingredients are of natural origin. It's enriched with community trade baboose suit oil. Actually, I'm not sure if I've got that right, that some of these words are really difficult for me. It's dermatologically tested, suitable for sensitive skin. We'll see whether that's true or not because I have sensitive skin. And they're forever against testing with animals. So I'll just give you a little bit of a read. It says that it's infused with plant stem cells. Uh, stem cells are one of the strongest regenerating powers in nature. Uh, we selected three plants that are renowned for their protective, renewing, reconstructed, reconstructing properties. Working together, their stem cells are infused in our range of drops of youth skincare. The biodegradable sheet, this sheet delivers an optimal soft and smooth feeling on your skin and is produced with environmental responsibility in mind. Its fibres are created using sustainable and eco-friendly process and are developed to fully biodegrade in accordance with the European EN13432 standard. So there you go. Um, it says to use the sheet mask up to twice a week on clean skin combined with daily use of drops of youth, youth concentrate to enhance healthy looking skin day after day. I don't have the, um, the um, healthy skin moisturizer stuff which is right here probably put a picture on the screen for you um but that's okay because we're going to try this anyway so if you're interested in seeing this um stay tuned welcome back guys um the first thing i can tell you is that it smells really good like it's strong, so I'm questioning whether it really is going to be good for sensitive skin. I hope that I don't break out because I'm not doing a patch test because I'm lazy. So I guess my entire face is going to be the patch test and you'll see for yourself if I'm going to break out. I'm definitely going to break out, so you'll, you'll see it. So anyway, um, let's get stuck into this. If you guys are new to my channel and you're interested in seeing any more, um, go ahead and click the subscribe button over here somewhere and um, don't forget to check the bell if you want to be alerted anytime that I actually upload a video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It'll help more people see this video and um, hopefully it'll benefit them too. This is really, really juicy. Really juicy. This is also one of these masks that once you've have it on for 15 minutes, um, you don't wash it off like some other masks, and I hate that. I think it's sort of counterproductive. Um, this one you just rub straight into the skin. So here we go. This is what she looks like. So this is going to be 
quite interesting. It doesn't look like there's a particular side you need to put it on. Both sides are <laughs> quite drenched. All right, let's start from the top. Try not to get it in the eyes. <laughs> I always forget to breathe when I'm putting these things on. Okay, not in my eyes. Little nose flap there. These are the bits that I hate on sheet masks. <laughs> oh, that's cooling. That's very cooling. Oh, gosh. Well, I'm already liking it. Oh, that feels so nice. Now I'll try and rub out some of the egg. Mmm. Oh, that's drenched. Usually I would say moist but so many people well i just did so many people get their knickers in a knot when people say that i don't see the point mud cakes are moist no i like mud cakes yeah there we go get that clear get it off the lips i don't suppose that that's going to taste very nice so there we go i'm gonna try not to smile too much so just wipe the rest off feeling really good already actually mm. Just make sure that everything is in contact. Oh, I got a hair. Oh, I can't get it. I'll just stay there. All right. Yep, that's looking pretty good. Fits my face all right. Not great for talking though. It's not going to be great for drinking coffee either, which is mm, what I planned on doing. Ooh, guess what I just saw. Worms. Have you guys ever had squirms? They are to die for. They are like little sour worms, but once you get used to them, ugh, you just can't stop eating them. Anyway, this is not a squirm review. So, <laughs> although, could do one. Is there anything else you need to know? Let's see. Um, unfold and apply, smooth over the skin, wait 15 minutes, remove mask and massage in liquid. And then use the other stuff, the drops of youth, bef oh, use in the morning and the evening before your regular moisturiser. Like I said, I don't have that. It says that, ah, oh, this bit, I hate it. I'm just going to chop that off next time. After four weeks of using, using, start again. After four weeks using the youth enhancing routine, your overall appearance of the skin is improved. Fine lines and pores appear less visible, more youthful, plumper, healthier looking skin. Well, I hope so. It'd be great, wouldn't it, if it would do it just after one. Now, I'm not going to sit here and gas bag because this little flap, and it's not just this brand, it's, it's most brands, this drives me nuts. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to go scare my children while I go and make coffee. <laughs> so when I take this off, I can just chill and watch Netflix or something. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be back soon. Welcome back guys. So it's been on. Um, I have raged a little bit with this little flap so much so that I actually on purposely ripped that bit off just so I could sit it there um, because I couldn't do anything. I know that generally the general idea of a mask is to chuck it on, sit back and relax but you know I have kids so um, it's not it's not ideal you know I need to be able you know, I have 10 things at once, you know, eat my food while I'm typing a letter to the school, while I have a two, you, know, you name it. So anyway, these little flaps on masks are not my favourite thing. I think that, you know, by now they should have come up with a better way to deal with that little issue. So let's just stick that there for now. It is ready to come off. It feels pretty darn good. Um, the idea is we take it off, we rub it in. What I want to see is has my face gone blotchy. Now there'll be a significant difference if I've actually reacted badly to this um, because it does have a scent and everything. You'll notice it will look like chicken pox all over the place and yeah. So anyway, let's take it off. Hmm. So there it is. Oh, it's pretty cool. It's like a ghost mask. Anyway, I've still got a fair amount of product. Let me see. I need to look at it in my own mirror. No. Actually, if anything, that has toned down my redness that I already had before then. I might have to go have a little look back in the footage, but like to me in the mirror, yeah, 
that actually, and it feels really good. Like, it's not one of those masks that make you feel hot. It's one of those ones that make you feel cooling. Kind of like what um, aloe vera can do to you. Well, some aloe vera, anyway. I put a mask on the other day um, that had aloe vera in it, and it burned. And I'm not the kind of person who likes my masks to burn my face. I don't like anything burning my skin, to be honest with you, because in summer I spend most of that um, <laughs> season burnt. So, um with just five minutes of sun. So I love the idea of just rubbing this in. I love the cooling effect that it has. I love the smell. I mean, it does smell a little bit chemical, but um, I don't know, it also smells like some sort of fresh white flower. I don't know, I don't know. I just envision flowers floating on water, white flowers floating on water. <laughs> it's just nice. I've smelt it before, but I'm just not sure. But anyway, I like it. You might not. Um, I have sensitive skin. I haven't reacted. In fact, I feel that there is actually an overall improvement to my skin's appearance right now. Um, even to my under eyes. Like, I, I'm usually quite dark. I mean, I still am, but I'm usually quite dark and saggy under the eyes, you know. <laughs> really, really bad. But this, this feels really, really nice. Um, I like it. I really, really like it. Um, it does feel a little bit sticky. If that doesn't go away, um, then I'm going to write down in the bottom um, if I change my mind. But so far, I like the product. Um, and yeah, if, if there's any changes, look down below um, and I'll let you know. But yeah, that is the... Woo! I've removed it. The, I'll put it on the screen. I believe it's the Drops of Jupiter face mask, sheet mask. And um, I picked mine up from the body shop for $9. They currently have a thing going on at the moment. But if you buy three, you get it for $25. So um, I probably should have done that. But I didn't want to take the risk that I'd have two left over. And I've just blown $25 on masks that I couldn't use. But what do you know? There you go. I love it. Um... It, it rates up there pretty high with my favourite, which is the Garnier Hydro Bomb. Um, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Definitely going to get some more. So pop into the body shop, grab one of those if you're interested, you want to try it, you've got dry skin or anything like that. I don't particularly think that it would be good for people who have um, oily skin, but then again, I don't know. Alright. Guys, thank you very much if you enjoyed the video. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. Um, share if you want, whatever. Or you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, um, even Twitter. I'm not on Twitter a lot, but I'll post updates on when I'm putting a video up. And, um, yeah, thank you very much for sticking around and watching. Alright, guys, take it easy. Bye.